Okay, people, let me give this to you real quick. Fit and 50, baby. Fitness challenge. This is how I want you to get it started. First, I want you to make a commitment. Make a commitment to yourself. What do you want to do? You want to get it done? Let's get it done. Hey, commit to the community. We're here for accountability. We'll help you stay on task and know your goal. Knowing the goal allows you to focus on the steps and... That allows you to know that the steps is where you find the joy because the joy is in the journey. Talk to a doctor. Consult with a doctor because I, I don't know if you're healthy enough for exercise. But do that first. Do the, do the assessment of your body starting with nutrition. It's the boo-boo test. Drop a boo-boo. If it floats, you're eating well. If it hits the bottom, you're not. Simple as that. Do the physical stuff. Flexibility. Can you touch your toes? Can you reach six inches past your heels? Sit on the ground. Reach your hands down. Can you get your wrist to your heels? If not, work on it until you can. <clears throat> Cardio test. A step test. Up and down on a stair, on a curb. Up and down. 30 seconds. Check your heart rate. See if it's within your range. Do your homework. Find out what your range is for your weight. Call me. I can tell you. Hit me up. Uh, Upper body strength test, lower body strength test. Simple. Push-ups, 30 seconds. How many can you do in 30 seconds? It's a marker. A place to start with is how you improve. Lower body, squats. How many can you do? 30 seconds. Core, abs. Put your feet under a sofa. Have your partner hold your feet. Sit up and touch their shoulders. Go back and forth. How many can you do in 30 seconds? Okay, that's the skinny. Okay, on the nutrition tip, stay away from white foods, white sugar, white potatoes, white rice, uh, white flour, pastas, bread. Stay away from it. Add some grains. Okay, what does that leave you with? Oh, also, stay away from candy. Stay away from soda. Stay away from french fries, potato chips, and ice cream. You would not believe... How bad those are for you and how much better you're going to feel if you remove those items. I don't want you to be on a diet. I don't want you to say you can't have those forever. Just for right now, during this challenge, make a commitment to yourself and stick by it. What's the challenge? It's dirty 100s. Yes, dirty 100s. 100 push-ups, 100 squats, and one glass of water before every meal. Break the push-ups into 25 pieces each segment of the day. In the morning, 25 push-ups. For lunch, 25 push-ups. Before dinner, 25 push-ups. After dinner, 25 push-ups, right? Along with that glass of water. Do the squats, do the push-ups. That's 100. They should take you 30 seconds each. That's one minute every three hours in which you should be eating every three hours. Maybe four Five times a day. So you can break the push-ups up even more. You can find a way to get it done. Ideally, I'd like for you to warm up, especially in the morning. Run, skip, ride, walk, dance. You don't have to do all that. You just have to do the challenge. But for some of you who are a little further, five minutes. It takes your body six minutes to get into the fat burning, uh, into the fat burning, uh, into the fat burning uh, <laughs> rhythm. You have three energy systems, and the system that's fat burning doesn't come until after five or six minutes. So you need to move for five minutes. If you can't move or run or walk or dance for five minutes, start with one minute and then build up at 15 seconds a day until you get there. It's a great way. Dynamic or static stretch is fine with me. I'll show you some ways to do that. Core. Um, it's doing the abs, knees up, lower abs, shoulders down, upper abs, rotate your torso, transverse abs and obliques, um, hyper extending your back. That's posterior chain, lower back and glutes. It's going to help you repair all the things. We got our strength uh, with our upper body. We got our lower body. You push, you pull. Listen, you can make it into a circuit if you want to. You do one core exercise. You do an upper body exercise, you do a lower body exercise, you do an upper body exercise, and then you do a movement for 30 seconds. Each one of those exercises, upper 30 seconds, lower 30 seconds, uh, 
core exercise 30 seconds, and then you go do jumping jacks for 30 seconds, or you run for 30 seconds, or you you skip for 30 seconds. That's two minutes worth of work, and then you're going to repeat that four times. That's how you go into the gym and do it as a circuit workout. Listen, that's all I'm going to give you right now. I know it's a lot. I know it's I know it's a, a bit much, but uh, trust me, it'll work. And so roll with your boy because we're snapping the picture. Hope you're going to be in the picture. Hope you got all this. Hope you can use this. Hit me up on Facebook. I'll give you more. All right. Peace. I am out.